Hey folks, just a quick rant. Uh, let's see what we got here. We're in the second turn, and uh, this is the second playthrough of TBL. And I got a little cocky as the German player. And unfortunately, the die rolls have not worked out quite how I expected them to. Whilst the Germans did indeed obtain a initiative in turn two, uh, it's not gone well. Uh, so we're really actually in, uh, not turn two, but the beginning of turn three, where the Germans have initiative yet again. Luckily for them, because the 9th Panzer and the SSV, whilst rapidly approaching Antwerp, were all in one stack each, and are now disorganized from vicious artillery barges, uh, barrage, barges, barrages coming uh, from all around this area. Fortunately, they were the only barrages that really had any effect uh, here. We also were, uh, have the, most of the 6th Panzer out of action in this turn as well. The Dutch did not surrender in turn two. They hung in there. So that's forced me to uh, clear out the rest of uh, Rotterdam and uh, frit away the usage of Third Panzer. And what that has allowed the for the Allies to do in turn two in their move is actually move some Dutch units. And man, they are causing problems. So they're uh, trying to block supply here. I had an overrunner guy here. Uh, I've got to keep aligning units all along here, which has taken away from the encirclement and entrapment of uh, uh, the guys in Liege. So I'm really in a quandary of what to do with the third this turn. I've got to kind of stay up this way because if my one, two, plus three uh, to the die roll does not force a surrender this turn, then we're in, we're in trouble, man. Um, the other thing is, I also have to, uh, I think before I, I move any more units, I, I'm going to have to go back, I think, and roll for out of supply for all these guys, because or, or feed off the map. Um, I think most of them can just feed off the map, but they are all indeed out of supply uh, as of last, the end of last turn. And I didn't roll for them, because I wasn't sure, despite what the rules said, that you couldn't feed Dutch off of the north edge here. Uh, you can use the ports, but uh, last turn the ports were covered. I had units here. The Dutch did a good job of actually forcing a retreat away from Amsterdam, uh, which you can't see, it's just off camera, but this is right here. Right, right there. Uh, so the Dutch actually had a good combat there. All their others failed uh, over here in Rotterdam. They, they, lost <laughs> they lost a unit and had to retreat, and those guys got beaten up. So. That's uh, allowed us to capture uh, Rotterdam and uh, Den Haag is up here. It's close to uh, close to being done as well. So, so it's a bit of a mess, and the south uh, it's just not going well. I, I, last turn, last time, these guys are got all isolated last turn. Uh, so the 21st, 29th motorized is down there by itself. It had advanced across, uh, taken taken the railroad bridge at Sedan and crossed over, got attacked, took a retreat rather than a loss, and then uh, was promptly uh, surrounded by cavalry and small tank units. So now I've got to go and rescue those guys this turn. So this is a mess. This whole thing's just completely foobar and I'm pissed about it. So uh, whilst I moved everyone up uh, efficiently and was very organized and got my uh, supply where I thought I needed it, it has not gone well. I don't have enough supply pushing forward. Got this, these CAV units trying to crunch me here, but we've got them cut off, so I'm hoping that all uh, they'll wither on the vine. Meanwhile, there's a there's a, 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 a advance that basically went this way uh, and got us up to here across the Meuse in force. There's two divisions of Panzers across the Meuse in, in, in pretty good shape, but they're now facing a very formidable uh, array of units. And the supply and all the rest of it is challenging at best. Fortunately, these guys are out of supply, so we'll chuck those this turn. 
and uh, I'm hoping we'll crunch those guys as well. In fact, uh, those guys are in supply um, going this way, so they're okay, but these guys are out. This guy's probably out. In fact, I think he's dead. <coughs> he was lost in the uh, attrition roll. All right, that's, that's what we got. I just wanted to show you that even if uh, the Allies played badly, things can not go well for the Germans. So this is not a one-sided game. I got the impression from a lot of folks that they, they thought this was a you know, one and done type of deal. You play it one time and then move on, or that it was uh, just a whitewash for the Germans. It's certainly not. If the Germans don't plan effectively, and if they don't manage their units well and their supply well, despite the fact that it's a short, a short game, relatively speaking, compared to you know, the East Front OCS titles, and uh, and you know the Sicily campaign and things like that. This is uh, there's a lot to this game. There there are a lot of pieces in a very small, basically one and a half maps. Mostly one map. Uh, you're fighting with six hundred plus pieces, and there's a lot to do and a lot to think about. So it, it's good stuff. I'm enjoying it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have set it up uh, immediately after finishing the first campaign because I knew there was a lot more to it here and a lot more fun to be had. And, and quite frankly, I could easily see myself setting this up again. Uh, that won't be the case, I don't think, because I do have a big box of several OCS titles arriving, hopefully next week, that uh, I'll be ogling and spending some time on once uh, I get back from Thanksgiving vacation. Uh, so I hope you guys, uh, I'm not sure when this will actually come out, it may come out after all, uh, after, uh, after I've already been on vacation and stuff. So we'll say all the thank ha happy Thanksgiving things for next time. All right, guys, uh, that's just it. So turn, beginning of turn three, Germans in a spot of bother, Dutch are hanging in there, French and Belgians are uh, doing their best and really, uh, trying to uh, stay on top of the ball. Inter uh, one last point. I do have one, two, uh, uh, the first and third armored are uh, in reserve status, being uh, not in reserve, but in a position to maneuver based on which direction the Germans go. So there'll be no being caught flat-footed like the end of the last game. And I've got another stack of uh, armor here that I've kind of cobbled together from all the little itsy bitsy pieces all around the board. And uh, those three groups and these guys here, this is the second motorized and third motorized here is kind of plugging a gap for the moment. Those three force groups can take on a division and they will try and do that if they get the opportunity. All right, that's all I got for you, thanks.